Welcome everybody, I'll be right back to the show where we take a look at a horror movie and it's St. Patrick's Day, Peter. So I thought there was no better way to celebrate the Emerald Isle that I'm born from than by looking at a film that really just embraces every single Irish stereotype I've ever seen. <laughs> it absolutely does, yeah. I absolutely loved this movie. Delighted. Did I shit? I thought it was bollocks, no! mate. I'm ang I am angry that you made us watch this piece of shit. Man. God, awful. Friggin' diabolical. Hated it. Hated it. So I watched this maybe 15 years ago or something like that. My friend gave me the Land of the Box set and I blasted through it and I really enjoyed them. I was curious on a rewatch how I would feel. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. You're insane. You are absolutely insane. The Guinness has gone to your head because this is Dog I shit. think it's got a lot, of, a lot of charm, a lot of lucky charm to us, you know? No, no, it hasn't. It's got no charm. If I ever see Warwick Davis, I'm going to punt him. I tell you, I'm going to give him, I'm going to do a field goal with him. That's how angry I am with Good this Good luck catching him. And it's probably, it's, <laughs> it's probably on the back of the fact that we've just spent a weekend together in Ireland and you kept calling me out on using stereotypes and things. This film is so offensively in your face with its madness. Every stereotype that you can imagine it's not funny it's not scary the effects are shit are you getting the impression i didn't like this somewhat film, I, I feel like you'll come around by the end of this conversation though we'll see anyway you'll need the look of the irish to change my mind i tell you so leprechaun 1992 a little bit of background about the movie it's written and directed by mark jones who was primarily a tv writer who did a lot of the early scooby-doo stuff the a-team night rider sorry 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 did you see he does a lot of the scooby-doo yeah. stuff that absolutely makes sense because there's so much of this bullshit movie where it's kind of different vehicles it's either a skateboard or it's a bike or it's a car and he's chasing vehicles now you've said it I've got the Scooby-Doo theme in my head with him kind of pedaling along the road Scooby-Dooby-Doo Cack Cack mate Cack I believe they were rollerblades Peter and not the skateboard No there was a skateboard, was a skateboard at one point that was in the house <laughs> That was in the house Yeah right, Fair enough So the movie was inspired by commercials for Lucky Charms Warwick Davis was cast after a dry spell following Willow and Star Wars Tonally sort of all over the place I think but like in a fun way like it's obviously it's not really a horror it's I think more akin to a gremlin it's supposed to be kind of a B movie kind of comedy horror I think for the most part it does a decent job at that no <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I get, yeah, I get where you're coming from. It, it's, it's got that kind of 80s nostalgia feel to it in terms of like critters or gremlins or ghoulies and that, that kind of stuff. I mean, the opening scene where he comes down the stairs and sits and does the little poem. It's like, oh my God, what, what am I I found watching? it very strange that they show him off the bat immediately, the first shot of the movie. And then the first kill, the scene after that, they're like playing coy. They're just showing his feet and showing him in shadows. It's like, well, they did that because it looks friggin' ridiculous. That's why they do that. They're embarrassed to show him in his costume with that cat face makeup on, surely. Did you not like the face makeup? I thought the face makeup was pretty good. It was all right. It, 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 if you're going for a scary leprechaun, I think that's as good as you're going to get, really. A scary, scary leprechaun. Are you telling me that was a scary Well, I mean, it's an attempt. In his little, it's, green, it's, his little green outfit with his with little me boots on. <laughs> <laughs> with me With me buckles. With me buckles. <laughs> Yeah. The one thing I was now really surprised at, and we've watched a few kind of low-budget 80s, kind of 90s horror films at this stage. It's really well acted. I think the cast in this are really good. Like the core four characters in it, the young kid, Jennifer Aniston in her first theatrical film, the hunky painter guy, Ozzy, who's like the big oaf. I thought they were like really fun. They had a good dynamic. Have we watched a different film? They were awful. Absolutely bloody awful. Jennifer Aniston plays basically Rachel, doesn't she? Well, yeah, exactly. Literally spoiled rich kid from LA. The little kid, I could have quite happily chucked him down the well. And then the big one, the horrific narrative of I'm dumb, people laugh at me when people turn their backs. We're going to get him brain surgery to make him smart. Fuck off. It was awful. I guess I'm a simple man with simple taste, Peter. That, that's how I'll, um, I'll justify that. I feel you're giving this more credit because you feel a kinship to the leprechaun or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I don't know. There's a moment where Jennifer Aniston walks down the stairs and she has a tray with two glasses on it and it really annoyed me. I mean, if that's all that annoyed you in this film. Why would you have a tray with just two glasses on it? You could just carry two glasses. That is the question of the century, isn't it? Why, why, why two glasses? That's my two? only negative for the entire film. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. The kills, mate. Come on. The ki There is no kills. The only interesting kill for me is death by pogo stick. Fun, creative, 
a bit of gore. Quite like that. Everything else, dog shit. I quite like the cop chase sequence through the woods. I thought that was like well shot and like it ends on a neck snap, which is a bit eh, but like it was fun. Onto the leprechaun anyway. The makeup is fairly impressive and like I don't think you'd even know it was Mark Davis if he didn't have that on. I'll give you that. I think the makeup was okay and I think to be fair, Warwick Davis does a good job creating this character. At no point did I think, oh, it's Warwick Davis. He kind of really leans into the humour of the role and he tries to give the horrendous script best he can do with it. You know, there's some interesting quips and things there. So some elements I think are like genuinely creepy. Like he kind of does some lullabies at some point. Like he lures people in with voices and, and stuff. I thought was, was quite interesting. The whole vehicle thing is very strange. Well, one, why does he need a tricycle or a skateboard or whatever if he can teleport? There's a moment where he actually teleports into a safe. Exactly. I didn't get the leprechaun's powers at all, to be perfectly honest. I didn't understand what his abilities were or anything other than a little bit of teleportation now and then. Don't think he does much else. He can move things but his green laser fingers. And he polishes a lot of shoes. I love that. I love the shining shoe thing. I thought that was really funny. I also like that he's a bit of a pervert. He was like caressing. <laughs> caressing yeah, I mean. Or he grabs the, the guy's groin at one point as well. Which is a bit like, he's a dirty le leprechaun. There, there was some bits where I suppose when he's chasing people and stuff like that. And it, I don't know if it's meant to be funny or frightening but it, it's disturbing probably it's because of that kind of pervy nature of it like I think he's chasing Jennifer Anson at one point through the field at night and it's genuinely like oh this is this is a bit unsavory I thought the actual performance of the leprechaun was, was okay was he's okay. committed to it you know he's giving it socks and I think he's absolutely doing what he was what he was asked to do and I know he had some creative input on the character that we'll, we'll talk about in a minute I don't get the I mean the kill side of things annoyed us because I kind of feel the set up good kills so you know the, the big bloke swallowing the bit of gold I thought, oh, that's going to lead to a great bit where he's kind of splitting them open and pulling the gold out or something. That is in, I believe, in one of the following movies that, that that's a sequence. Oh, I actually thought that was it. I thought that was in this. I misremembered. I thought he did get reached into a stomach. But they, they'd come back to that later on. I think this is probably the film to watch with a group of mates when you're um, drunk or you've been doing other things and you're a bit more relaxed, shall we say. I can see you having perhaps a giggle with it at that point. But if you sat stone cold sober watching this, it's just... I mean, crap. I watched this on my phone in bed and I had a good time. There's a couple of lines I... I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most action you've had in your... Uh, no, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and the little leprechaun, you know. There's a few lines I quite like in this. Like, uh, you little green bastard. I thought was a really great one. And I yeah, thought like, that I felt like very that. natural, you know. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. I think it was a good... Yeah, like, that was good. ...shot line as well, you know. I really like the practical side of the effects for the leprechaun death, like when they're easily melting. We've seen a few of these now doing the show. But I think this is a good one, like the kind of the, the skull underneath and when he gets back out of the well and stuff like that was cool. It reminded me a lot of Gremlins, actually, of Spike biting it at the end you know the kind of that melting effect it was good to see a movie with very little if any i don't think cgi it was all practical effect the lightning effects were terrible kind of ruined that that scene at the end i felt i mean what did the, what does the leprechaun do other than bite people a lot he just seemed to chase people and nibble at people a bit he bites and he scratches well at one point he takes the clasp off his shoe doesn't he and starts slashing the guy's face with with the gold that was cool. I, I enjoyed that. I also like when he dug out the cop's eye to put back in his face. Yeah. That was a cool moment as well. I like that. I did like that, mind. There's some positives in this, Peter. You know, you gotta give credit. It's so a little bit of trivia about the movie. Jones had originally envisioned the film as a straight horror film, but shifted towards a PG-13 horror comedy due to Warwick Davis's comedic take on the character. This was at odds with the studio's desire for a Friday the 13th-esque slasher. The film eventually went through reshoots to add more gore. There's like moments where this feels a bit like a Disney Channel horror movie, just with gore and swearing. I feel like this would be a lot more well regarded like would be thrown in that gremlins kind of camp if they just toned it down a little bit no I'm, I'm giving you straight answers yet to Dean terrible man N no it's got none of the charm of gremlins I'll give you I think Warwick Davis's performance is pretty good but it's just not got the same feel charm warmth entertainment value as gremlins I was bored watching this I mean very bored because it was just silly it gets sillier trust me down the road in this franchise I'm not watching more <laughs> <laughs> what, you sure? No. Oh, they get on. worse. This is like one of the better ones. George Lucas received a special thanks credit because Warwick Davis was under contract to him and gave Davis permission to appear in the movie. Well, at that point, like 1992, Warwick Davis like didn't appear in anything from like 86 to the newer ones. I don't think Warwick Davis is really done a great deal has he other than he did Willow obviously and Star Wars and whatnot I don't know what else he's been in and lastly Warwick Davis started to regret making the film but due to Aniston's later success on television the film received a renewed interest and was later successful in video rental stores spawning a lengthy series of sequels now onto the sequels Peter how many movies do you think are in this franchise well I know I'm afraid I know because son of a bitch you were supposed to not look at the <laughs> the rest of the series because I thought it was so bad 
I googled it to see where it went, and there's like seven movies or something ridiculous. Eight in total. How? How can there be eight movies of this piece of shit when some of the classic movies, like let's go back to Fright Night, we've got kind of one cracky sequel? How can there be eight movies of this crap? It's cheap, man. You know, like it's cheap and they made money. It was only the first two that went out in cinemas, the rest were direct DVD. So you have two, which is set in LA, if I remember correctly. Three is in Vegas. Leprechaun 4 in space. Of course, of course. Natural. Yeah. One of the earlier ones to do that, I think, because that Jason X down the road. Leprechaun in the hood. <laughs> I'm not joking, this is real. Then Leprechaun Back to the Hood. And that's back to, like, the number two, if I, I okay. think so. Cool, down with the kids, like that. And that's the end of Mark Davis's involvement in the franchise. Then there was a reboot, kind of in the late 10s, called Leprechaun Origins, where it was Hornswoggle, who's like a wrestler, played him. And it's a remake reboot, leans more into the horror. Produced by WWE, I think. Oh, right. Yet, that's odd. Awful, if I remember correctly. And then there was kind of a requel called Leprechaun Returns, which goes back to the first one, but it's not Mark Davis. And I feel like that would have been a bit more legitimized had they just called Mark Davis. Is back. But I think that's the one where he reaches into the, the guy's stomach to grab the coin. Okay. I'm not watching any of those. I'm not watching any of those, mate. No, no. I, well, I'm saying that. Leprechaun in the Hood. That's got us intrigued. We have to do a two for then. Watch the Leprechaun in the Hood oh, and back to the Hood. God. <laughs> I can't remember which one. One of them has a really good lawnmower kill. I really like. I think that's my issue with this, really. Not only is it just too silly for me, I just didn't enjoy the kills. And if you're watching a horror, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Even Gremlins had some entertaining, good horror elements to it. Kills like the old lady on the um, the stair lift and things like that, you know? I don't feel we've got much of this other than, like I say, Pogo sticked to death, which was quite good. I think they get a bit more inventive in the later movies. There was a crossover with Candyman pitched at one point. It was shelved after Tony Todd refused flat out, just said, I respect my character too much to participate in this. So they just good. Good for him. Good it's for gonna him. It's going to be hard, yeah, Candyman versus Leprechaun. Obviously because of the success of Freddy vs. Jason. And there is a reboot in development with Jones and Davis both expressing interest in returns. Davis apparently wants to do a TV series set in the Wild West. That sounds really fun. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I think that sounds good. I like that idea. A Leprechaun in the Wild West. God. Imagine him with his little chaps and his, his revolver at his hip and the cowboy hash. Yeah, that'd be great. The gold would tie into that. Like, you'd have prospectors and stuff like that. I think, you know, I could see that working. I think, like, a change in setting like that would be good. But, like, we've seen Chucky very successful on television. So, like, I'd be up for seeing I'd just love to see Mark Davis return to it, to be honest. So. Do you know what? I think I think if I go into it knowing that it's more of a silly, really silly offensive comedy rather than expecting a horror, that, that might have a different outcome for us. Going in thinking it's a good horror, yeah, no, it doesn't work. So, any final thoughts on Leprechaun? I'm angry with you. I'm, I'm I'm really quite angry that I've wasted an hour and 34 minutes of my life watching this. Just utter tosh. But you should be angry as well, as an Irishman. This is one of the most racially offensive movies I've seen in terms of all of the stereotypes in the... It, just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Awful. It's awful. Going into it, I was expecting, like, this is, probably hasn't aged well for me. Like, you know, I'm going to hate this. And I actually, like, had a lot of fun watching it. Were you drunk? Were you, had you been drinking? Be honest. Had you been, had you been drinking when you watched no, it? No, no, I hadn't. I don't believe, I, was... I don't believe you. I don't believe you. <laughs> you know, it's a campy, silly, low-budget horror movie. It's got, I think, a good cast and an interesting villain in it. So, yeah, I, 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 I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this better than Willy's Wonderland? Is it shite? Is it shite? No, Nicolas Cage wouldn't be anywhere near this movie. You won't even dare to say you'd love to see Nick Cage in a little green hash and buckles. I want and... Nicolas Cage. No, actually, now you're saying it. That sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's better than Willy's Wonderland anyway, so. Get stuffed. Yeah. You are kidding. <laughs> I like Are you kidding? Movie. No. Are you kidding? You're not well. You're, you've you got issues, you. We need to collect some gold so you can go and have some special brain surgery to make you feel <laughs> <laughs> And that's I'll Be Right Back on Leprechaun. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the channel where we do one good scare live every second Friday. And we'll be right back next time with... There are those who will die for him. There are those who will kill for him. Who is he? What does he want? Where did he come from? And can he be stopped? The Omen. No! Never under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back.